Tiger Welcome Center in City Heights is shutting down. You know, there's always a miracle, but we're behaving as if today's the last day we will be able to, to take migrants. Kathy Lembo, the CEO of SBCS, the nonprofit in charge of the facility, says they've helped out 81,000 people, but says the county's $6 million wasn't enough to keep going. People in, in the know, like the county and us and other people who run these kinds of operations, totally understand that the money lasts as long as it can last, and it depended on the number of migrants and all of that. Some local advocates like Erica Pinheiro with Alo Torlado wonder how and where the $6 million was spent. And so for the level of service being provided, there needs to be some accountability around the fact that $6 million was spent in less than four months. The expenses I, I can give you, I have it right here, what it was spent on, and I can go through every single light item with people. I sat down with Lembo, who did go through the recorded expenses from October 11th to January 31st. The figures she showed me show roughly $4.86 million was spent in that time, with about $1.5 million spent on personnel, and $2.5 five million on other expenses like basic and essential supplies for the migrants and travel expenses for them. One of the big ticket items is the bus rental. Lembo tells me that the bus rental was an expense to the tune of nearly $840,000 that did see some controversy. Border Patrol would not drop off here at City Heights. They would only drop off at Iris. And so we made a decision for the safety of the migrants and the safety of the staff to work here that we would do it here. So we pick up the migrants at the soft-sided tent in Otay Mesa and transport them here. I did reach out to Customs and Border Protection about what Lembo had told me, and it tells me that they're looking into it. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.